Hey friends, welcome back to Putting Up With The Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair, giving you a hairstyle inspiration on the way to style and care that are quick and easy to achieve and take minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to check our weekly videos. To all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video where I will be styling Callista's hair into a three- valentine day inspired hairstyles for the school week so of course if you have little ones in school you know valentine's day is definitely a holiday that the kitties definitely look forward to all the chocolate and candy and gift giving is definitely right up their alley so in lieu of the holiday we love to do valentine's day hairstyles and give off inspiration so you can send your little one to school with a cute valentine's day hairstyles as well so I started out with the Twin Ivy Detangling Spray and I have reviewed this entire product hairline. You can catch that video. I will link it down below or up at the top of this video to check out that full tutorial. So I went in with the detangling spray, which is my favorite. And then I am following behind that with the styling cream, which is this nice creamy mixture that adds such beautiful shine, a nice lip and moisturizes the hair. For this first style, I am going to uh, do a slant part going across the top of her head right at the crown and what I am doing here is I'm going to do a rubber band style in the front of her hair this is going to add some beautiful colors a nice cute little decoration for her hair and I'm going in using the shine in jam holding gel I love using conditioning gels over edge control gels mainly because I love the shine that conditioning gels give as well as that oil sheen that it provides to their hair and scalp without flaking and that is always my biggest pet peeve when it comes to gels. I hate my gels that flake. I never experienced that with the girls and it has a nice beautiful hold on their hair as well. So I'm going in with elastic rubber bands. I talk about elastic rubber bands all the time when it comes to styling Callista's curls. I love that they do not cause all of this tension, which could cause unnecessary breakage to her fine curls. As you can see out of my three girls, she has the finest curls out of everyone. Kalia has the thickest and Lani has thick wavy tresses. So I am just pretty much playing connect to dots here where I'm sectioning off small pieces of hair and uh, going in with the elastic rubber band and connecting them all together. And the colors I went with were pink, green, and blue. They're not traditional Valentine's Day colors, but I really loved how cute this looked. So this is a finished product after I did two of these connected braids and now i'm doing a zigzag part in the back because i want to create two buns Now for her buns, I prefer to go in with either a ponytail holder and sometimes I'll go in with a black rubber band only because the elastic bands, although they are great with not causing tension and breakage, they can pop very easily. So I do not like using them when I'm doing like a big ponytail or, um, and they definitely do absolutely nothing for my girls with thicker hair, Kehlani and Kalia. The elastic bands last no more than an hour for them. I'm going to add some cute glitter bows and I purchased these off of Amazon. If you would love to check out all the products and hair accessories that we use on the girl's hair, you can check out our Amazon storefront, which is linked down below on our website. And of course, anytime you buy anything off of our Amazon storefront, we do earn commission off of it, which helps us build our channel and bring you more tutorials. Now, moving on to the second style. This one, I wanted to keep it pretty simple. I wanted to do two ponytails, one in the front and one in the back. So I, instead of doing a traditional just half part across, my half part, I decided to turn into a heart part just to kind of play around with it. This is something a lot more easier and simple. It takes no more than five, 10 minutes to style this look i have already refreshed her curls going in with the twin ivy detangling spray that i used earlier and since this is the second style of the week she is not washed so that detangling spray definitely helps with adding back that moisture and helping with her hair to be to tangled after a three to four days is usually how long most of her styles last Can you help me? 
Now that I've placed her hair in the two ponytails, I'm going in with the Twin Ivy Mixed Curl Styling Gel. And I love this gel on Kehlani and Callista's curls. It definitely helps with clumping the curls together so I get this nice, beautiful definition as well as the shine and moisture. And it does not flake. I don't know how many times I have to stress. I am a big stickler of gels that flake and I do not like it, especially if a gel adds like this layer of coating where it just feels weird and awkward and it, that just, I'm a texture person and that bothers me and I don't experience none of that using the twin IV styling gel going in with these cute heart bows that are also on Amazon as well just because I love bows on Callista and I love that the hearts give off this nice Valentine's Day vibe. So I'm adding those to each of the ponytails and that is it for this look. And this will probably take her out for the rest of the school week, Thursday and Friday. And then on Saturday, she will have her wash day. Now here's the last style for this video. So I'm doing a small little heart part right above her ear. My plan was to have two heart parts in this style, but that one in the back just, I was not feeling it. So I ended up taking it out later. But as you can see right here, all I do is kind of like sketch out where I want the heart part to go. And then I just take my comb and kind of chisel away at it to, you know, per perfect it a little bit better and then go in with my gel to clean it up. Now what I want to do is on the top half of her hair, that remaining hair that's not in the heart part, I want to go ahead and put that into like a side ponytail, but I did want to do just a straight part. So I kind of made it a little wavy, like give it a little curve, especially since we have that heart part there that has all the curves to it. I feel like doing just a straight part would be a little bit boring. Um, so I'm combing all that up, using my gel to slick down her edges, and we're going to move on to the back of the hair. So for the back, I decided to go in with two ponytails back here. And again, you can see I kind of played around with doing like a little curve kind of part just to make it a little bit different. And I'm going in with my elastic rubber bands to secure her ponytails. Then I'm gonna add in my glitter bow because I'm obsessed with them. And instead of going in with the styling gel for her curls, I'm going in with the All About Curls Boosting Foam. It's a very lightweight product that gives her a nice hold without the crunchiness that you usually experience from the gel. So it'll have a softer definition. Here is the finished product. Her hair looks super cute. This one was probably my favorite out of all three of the styles. Comment down below which look you prefer the most and which one you'll be trying out on your little one. Thank you for joining us on a, another tutorial. We I greatly appreciate having you guys here. We will see y'all on a, another one. Be blessed and be safe.